you have been directed to this video because you have a Glucomen Aereo 2K blood glucose monitoring meter. We will demonstrate how to measure your blood glucose here. This meter also measures ketones and we will demonstrate this in a separate video. Remember to wash your hands with soap and water and then dry thoroughly before testing as unclean hands can affect your test results. So let's get started. The content of this video is put forth as entertainment purposes only and this creator makes no claims, promises or guarantees about the accuracy, completeness or adequacy of the procedures and instructions contained therein. The creator of this content expressly disclaims liability for errors and omissions that any viewers of this video might declare that exist in the information as presented. No liability exists or can be ascribed to this content creator in the event of any accident or injury that might occur as a result of improper application or understanding of the procedures and information contained in this video. We need our Glucomen Aereo 2K machine, our test strips, our Glucoject lancing device, a lancet, our instruction manual, a sharps box, and a tissue. First of all, check the test strips are for your machine. In this case, the Glucomen Aereo 2K device. Check the expiry date. Here we have our Glucoject, dual lancing device, and the lancet. This is our instruction manual our tissue and our sharps box. If we look at the section for measuring your blood glucose levels, if you flip to that now, you can see here there's some detailed instructions on how to measure your blood glucose in that manual. So please refer to that if you need any further help. Here we have a lancing device. We made a separate video with detailed instructions and a demonstration on how to load this safely and discard the lancet. If you want to see that video, click the link above on the screen now. You can see here the lancing device. Unscrew the end in an anti-clockwise direction and then we push the lancet in as far as it can go. We then twist off the protective end of the lancet which exposes the needle within. Now screw the end of the lancing device back on in a clockwise fashion, ensuring that it's hand tight. We then set the depth of penetration. As you can see, there are numbers on the end. In this instance, we've set the depth of the penetration to the number two. You can load your device by pulling back the navy blue plunger on the back of the device. We then take our test strip with the white side facing upwards and the section of the test strip with the black markings in the direction of the test strip slot on the meter. When we insert the test strip into the meter, it switches on and you can see there is a blood drop flashing on the screen. This means it is awaiting your blood sample. Here we have a tissue ready. When getting ready to lance our finger, make sure you have loaded your device beforehand. Remember, we'll have washed our hands prior to testing. Remember to rub your fingers as shown here. We can choose any of our fingers for the procedure. Remember to lance your finger on the outside portions of the finger and not on the pad. We then squeeze out the blood drop. We then place the meter with the strip against the finger where the blood drop is located. As you can see here, the test strip draws up the blood automatically. Take your tissue and hold this between your finger you drew the blood from and your thumb. And if you drew the blood from your thumb, then hold the tissue between your thumb and your forefinger. We now have our reading shown on the screen. Now we have finished, we can discard the test strip safely and discard the lancet from the lancing device. You unscrew the end of the device in an anti-clockwise direction. This exposes the lancet. Be careful of the needle. You push the blue slider on the side forward and pull back the plunger on the other end of the device in a simultaneous fashion. 
or hold back the plunger and push the blue slider forward as shown here and this will discharge the lancet into your sharps box safely. Screw the front end of the device back on in a clockwise direction and store your items in the wallet which came with the device. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.